Ready, set, art, advanced art. You're going to redesign binder paper. So there's some really cool examples online, but I don't want you to copy them. Remember, you have to create your own original work. In the last assignment, I saw people basically copying my main assignment, and I don't want you guys to do that. It needs to be original work. Those are just examples so you have an idea of where to go to. So in the binder paper assignment, it's you're going to redraw the blue and the red, the circles, put your name in the corner, just like you would binder paper on regular paper. And then you want to modify the lines to create a visual story. I do want to see some creativity since it's such a simple assignment. I want you to push it a little bit when it comes to creativity. So I may ask in your rough drafts, I need to see more, try to take it beyond what you have, what else can you add to it, right? So um, please don't be upset if I tell you to go further in your rough drafts. Now you may think like, how do I even get something like this started rough draft wise? So I'm going to put this to the side for a moment. Okay. Now I have some binder paper here so I can figure out my lines essentially. Okay. And I need a pencil for that, so just one second. I thought I was ready and I wasn't. So here we go. Here's my pencil. Okay. So I what I want to do is put in some guidelines. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna put a little line here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my circles here. Don't go too dark because you're gonna go back with blue and red, right? You wanna go back with blue and red. Okay. And then I'm going to move this a little this way. Okay. Now, you could put little marks here. And these are a lot of lines. I actually spaced mine out a little more. So when, if you do a different line than what's here, like mine, I spaced them out further, then you need to make sure that it's the equal amount every single time because that's kind of the uniqueness of binder paper is that it's equal every single time. So you need to make sure if you're changing it up that you pay attention to your measurements. So I'm just going very quickly. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stop halfway because I think you would get the idea if I just kept going. And I just want to show a simple, quick, easy idea that could get you started, right? Now mine that you saw Oh, I forgot another quick thing that you need to do. All right. So if this is here, my lines are there, I can quickly start kind of going crooked. And I saw a lot of people do that last time we did this. So I'm just going to move it a little this way. Make sure I did it correctly last time. Okay. This way when I line it up, I won't go crooked. Okay. All right. That's good enough for now. Okay. So I'm going to do just a few lines and I need them light. Why? Because I'm going to go back with colored pencil eventually. Graph the pencil here is made of clay and graphite. So if you leave it there and you go over with a colored pencil, pencil which is like wax and pigment, it will stain it there and it kind of smears and it, it, it mixes with the clay part and it makes it a little dirty, right? So you got to make sure to really race light, you know, barely have it there, just enough to see. Um, whoops. See, artists make mistakes all the time. Can you believe it? Even the teacher. Okay. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, so I could keep going, but you would get the idea that I just keep putting the lines down, and then I try to modify the lines to create a story. In this case, for mine, I thought it would be neat to take the blue lines and create a a whirlpool effect and since I love the ocean this was good for me so I did this little whirlpool these little lines came forward and I made sure it matched up to the other side because that's kind of important part of binder paper as well and then if you I wanted to add these in make sure to get some contrast in there look I put some blue in for the shading for my ships sometimes people want to make it look like it's popping forward so what I want to do is I'm just going to put a circle now for your main assignment, do I want you to just do one big circle in the middle? No, not really. For demonstration purposes, I'm just trying to show you how to kind of modify the lines a little bit. So I'm going to take this 
and I'm going to round out that line and then erase the original line. I'm going to go ahead and erase this line and pop, move it this way so this way it starts looking like it's kind of bubbling up. As it gets toward the middle, it, I'm going to change direction. So I'm going to flatten this one out. It's not as curved as the other ones. And now that I'm past the halfway mark, I'm going to go the other way. Same here. Okay, so now this looks like it's popping forward. So there's lots of ideas you can do with the binder paper. I always see the ripped paper effect one. So, and that's good, but I, you know, just make sure, like, what else are you adding to the story? Like, what else can I add to circles? If it's a circle, could it be a bubble? Is there more than one bubble? Could fish be involved in popping the bubbles? Maybe it's a little child and maybe it's a little child in the corner blowing bubbles, right? So how can I take this further. And that's how I like to look at the rough drafts. So I want you to take that into consideration. Okay. So I hope that helps in getting started on learning to do the binder paper art. Thank you.